Ace gradually became more and more frustrated with the doctor's manipulations. In December 1968, they landed near Crook Marsham where she met with Robin Yedden. She tried to convince the doctor not to retire. She went to the radio telescope nearby and saw a dead body there. She tried to persuade the doctor to help with the mysterious goings-on. When Robin's stepfather Lawrence Yedden died, she consoled him. She witnessed the attack on Jill Mason. After the doctor arrived, she was still being attacked and chucked some nitro-9 at the being but that made it stronger. After the doctor defeated the sentience, she debated whether or not she should leave the doctor. After saying goodbye to her old friend Julian at his funeral, the doctor brought her and the TARDIS to the heaven in the year 2570. She met a young traveler by the name of Jan Ridd and fell in love with him. Along with a psychic named Christopher, she helped free the doctor from being trapped in pewter space by the vacuum church and wanted Jan to travel with her in the TARDIS. However, Jan was infected by Houthi fibers. Through the doctor's manipulations, Jan put Ace to sleep with a drug and tried taking a shuttle on his own to the Houthi sphere, but Mare woke Ace. They followed Jan. On board the shuttle, Mare betrothed Ace and Jan to be wed. Thinking that they would set the shuttle on a collision course with the sphere, Ace and Mare ejected their pods. Jan instead ignited the sphere with his pyrokinesis, killing three of the four Houthi and sacrificing himself. Landing on heaven, Ace spoke to the part of the Houthi group mind containing Julian, killing the last Houthi and freeing the dead minds from the group mind of this timeline.